Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and you know, our universe is actually full of mysteries. There are a lot of stars out there that have quite a lot of interesting things to discover, but some of them actually meet some of the extremes in our universe. And today we're going to be talking about one such star that actually is, as of today, the hottest star we've discovered. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So this is actually not the star we're going to be visiting today, because this star right here is very similar to our own sun. But it is a star that we're going to be visiting in a nebula that's really, really famous. As a matter of fact, if you were to, um, right here from Earth, look into the night skies and try to find the nearby galaxy known as Large Magellanic Cloud, which is right there, and then to basically zoom in onto it, you would discover one of the most brilliant and basically the brightest and most well-known nebula that we've discovered so far. And let me show you where this nebula is located. This nebula is known as the Tarantula Nebula, and it's uh, extremely, extremely bright. It's actually bright for really one simple reason. And let me show you the actual photo from NASA here. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's bright because there is such a tremendous amount of very powerful stars, as you can see in this photo, located uh, pretty much in the middle of it. And because of their emissions, because of the amount of energy that all of them are emitting pretty much every second, it uh, generates this tremendously bright nebula. And so one of these very bright stars right there is actually also the hottest star we've discovered. Its average temperature is approximately 57,000 degrees uh, Celsius or close to about 56,000 Kelvin. And it's essentially so hot that it has actually trouble maintaining its own stability. In other words, somewhere in there, in the Large Magellanic Cloud, there is a star that's basically ripping itself apart because it's ridiculously powerful. Now, its current mass is estimated at approximately 170 masses of the Sun, um, and uh, it's assumed that it's actually not just one star, it's possibly a binary star, but we're not entirely sure. But I'm going to show you just what it may look like. It's obviously going to be simulation, but it's based on our understanding of these types of stars. And this is what it may look like. It's obviously extremely bright, extremely powerful, and this is actually from a relatively far away distance. Um, and it's known as Melnik 34. It has other names, but uh, that's basically its main designation. Um, this particular object is uh, located pretty far away from us, actually, because this is essentially in a nearby galaxy, a large Magellanic Cloud, and so the distance here is maybe about 160,000 um, light years away from us. Uh, but what is interesting about this particular very unusual star is that First of all, it's really young when it comes to age of stars. It's only about 1.7 million years old. Our sun in comparison is 5 billion years old, so that's significantly more. But in this short period of time, this object most likely lost like 100 masses of the sun. So in other words, its emissions are tremendous. It's actually emitting such a huge amount of energy that it's just incomprehensible. And because of this, it's one of the brightest, if not the brightest stars we've discovered. It's actually in like top three right now. Um, and it's the hottest star we've discovered. But what's more is that in the next few million years, it's going to get even hotter. The current estimate for how hot this star will get is something like 200,000 degrees Kelvin. So as it progresses from being what it is right now, which is a kind of a main sequence star, uh, is going to reach a point where it becomes a very energetic wolf riot star. You can actually learn more about what wolf riot stars are um, on the channel. I made a video about it a few years ago. And then eventually, it's going to explode. It's going to create a very, very explosive supernova uh, that will then leave behind a very massive black hole. Until then, though, this object, known as Melnik 34, is going to remain the hottest star we've discovered so far. Even at this distance, um, it's actually pretty visible. You can definitely see it if you have a powerful enough telescope. 
And what's more is that you don't really have to go far away from the star to discover other objects very similar to it, extremely energetic, because Tarantula Nebula is full of these super, super hot, super bright stars. There's actually quite a lot and they're some of the biggest record holders, including the most massive star we've discovered so far, and of course, the brightest one as well. So this is where you would find quite a lot of uh, candidates for some of the craziest supernova that are going to happen in the next few million years. And so, as you can see, even from a distance of several hundred light years, it's still the brightest object we see. Now, obviously, this is not really a star we're going to be exploring anytime soon because it is very far away from us, but if it does go supernova for some reason before its time, it will actually create an extremely bright uh, object in space and will allow us to understand not just the universe, but also the evolution of stars and the creation of black holes, because this would be a star that creates a very powerful, very massive black hole. And well, anyway, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. So I wanted to show you the hottest star we've discovered so far. I'm sure we'll find another one that might even beat this re record. But as of right now, this is really at the limit of how hot typical stars can get. We haven't really discovered anything as uh, tremendously hot as this just yet, but there are a few stars in the same region that are almost as hot as this. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, and so now you know a little bit more about this tremendously hot, tremendously powerful, and really, really massive star known as Melnik 34. In the next video, we're going to talk about something else that you may have not known before, so do come back and subscribe if you still haven't. Space out, and as always, Bye-bye.